Hello and welcome to this video where I'm going to be quickly showing you how to do YouTube keyword research for free. So there's plenty of ways to do your keyword research. In fact, this is probably one of the simplest and easiest ways that you can do it for free and you don't even need any type of tools. Of course, tools are always helpful, but if you want to go the free and easy way, this is how it's done. So first and foremost, what you want to do, I like going in an incognito window. So when I look for rankings, it's going to be more natural. Either way, you're just going to need a seed keyword here. So something that is most related to what you want to create content for when it comes to your YouTube channel. Given the fact they talk about marketing, affiliate marketing, online business a lot, I know that ClickBank is going to be a very popular topic. So that's going to be my seed keyword. Now, as you'll see, when I type in ClickBank, it's going to have some of the most popular topics at the time. So given the fact at the time creating this video, we're in 2022, you see a lot of those with 2022 after them. Aside from that, some of the most popular topics are just going to be ClickBank. ClickBank Affiliate Marketing for Beginners, ClickBank Affiliate Marketing for Beginners, Tutorials, Review, Google Ads, Facebook Ads, Pinterest, TikTok, and a few more that also relate to having the year there. So those are going to be the biggest ones. But what you can also do to dive down a little bit deeper, because there's many more than that, you can hit space and start going all through the alphabet. You'll notice that we're going to have a few of these similar ones that came up before, but you'll want to go through and check out some of these that you can actually utilize and maybe create a video for. So what you can do is if you uh, hover over that, you can use the up and down button. What I like doing is let's just say account create. Let's just highlight and copy that. I have a new tab open and we can check out the competition, uh, how long the videos were posted ago, you know, how many views they're getting. Obviously, that really depends on the account, uh, who's creating them, how many followers they have. But you'll see a lot of these have thousands of views. So you can tell it is something that's pretty popular. And it's an easy video to create, especially if you're just walking through someone's tutorial when it comes to creating a ClickBank account. Let's continue on with this. Okay, so account disabled, alternative, and so on and so forth. It actually isn't going to take too long to go through all these i mean it, it probably would but i'm not going to show you all of them next we can go with b best selling products best products to promote beginners bot bing ads bangla banned countries best free traffic business and so on and so forth you can do the same thing for c and what i like doing is going through the entire alphabet now keep in mind not every seed keyword is going to have as many keywords as this for example if a product just came out usually there's not going to be as many searches for it the more popular, say, a product or a keyword gets, the more you're going to see these keywords used here because people are searching for them more often and YouTube recognizes that, okay? Continuing on, obviously, D, E, F, G. But something else you can do, if you go to the beginning of your seed keyword, you put a star there, hit space, and what you can do is go all the way back before and start putting in letters once again. So you're looking at any type of phrase that has ClickBank in it, but starts with an A. So like affiliate marketing ClickBank or account disabled ClickBank or account nickname ClickBank and so on and so forth. Keep in mind, these are other keyword variations that you can use in your tags or just put anywhere in your title, your description to help optimize for them as well. Like we talked about before, ClickBank alternative. This one is just alternative to ClickBank, kind of a different way of saying it but let's continue it on uh we got best this best that best this a lot of those best when it comes to clickbank we got c here moving on to d uh daniel hustle delee uh dave nick a lot of names here dave mac digital empire does it work in nigeria done for you even simple questions like this are great when it comes to creating content around especially something like does clickbank work in nigeria if you know the answer for it, it's not going to take too long to explain it's going to help a lot of people out especially for the fact that there's already a lot of content or excuse me a demand for the content which you can see right here so the same thing, I'm just going to do one more quick example when it comes to a, uh, okay, so TikTok is absolutely huge. And if you're into social media and TikTok, that's something you can do. Now, consider there's going to be a lot more with this. You can really extend upon the keyword. So if you go with TikTok A, you could type in B to go after it. Now you're looking at anything that starts with TikTok continues on with A and then B after, like about, ABBA, ABC, and so on and so forth. Uh, you could do AD, like there's really a lot of them here. But obviously, if you wanna go a little niche down, you can do it with the first letter, you can add to it. And then once again, you can go back, type in the star there, A, and there you go, something like that. If you really wanted to get a little bit more focus, you could just start typing in like TikTok, uh, let's say marketing something like that. And you're going to see that once again, there's just so many more. You can add on to that A, B, C, D. And when you have really huge 
keywords like this, you're literally going to have a never ending amount of keywords that you can utilize because you can just quickly go through them, see which ones you're already an expert on or you know, like kind of get the low hanging fruit, so to speak. Go with the keywords that are easier to create videos that'll help you kind of get some momentum and continue on that way. But as you can see, I literally have one or two tabs open here, just kind of scrolling through and you can create your videos based upon the keywords that are coming up. If you go back and check a lot of the videos I made, this is done the exact same way. Sometimes I will use software. A lot of times I'll do it for free. I go back and forth, whatever I prefer at the time, but this is a great way that you can utilize YouTube keyword research or get it done free. I hope you got some value out of this. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in my next video.